Hello, beautiful humans. Does silence make you uncomfortable? It can be a strange and unnerving eeriness when we're used to all the instant notifications, gamifications, and gratifications that comes with all the glittery allure of the 21st century. Some even go to the bathroom with their phones. It's like we're too tired to face the noise in our own mind. And Google is the drug of choice. Instead of contemplating life's questions, we just look them up now. And as a culture, we don't get a lot of silence these days. For many, the opportunity is rare. And for others, the opportunity is distressing. But I think most of us are too distracted to even realize we're missing it. Maybe chalking it up to a busy schedule, work, or even significant others or kids. After all, who has time for that kind of luxury when we could be filling that space with more productive things like podcasts, snaps, TED Talks, buying toilet paper on Amazon, exercise, or even swiping right to find our next match. For some reason, the moment of silence is even eclipsed by guilt. Intrusive thoughts like, if there is silence, it means I must be slacking. Be it dishes, laundry, responding to work emails, or organizing files. Seems that people are always behind on something, right? In fact, you might be thinking, how dare you tell me silence is another thing I must do? But what if silence, real silence, is critical to our health? What if it was the key to really thriving and moving forward in this world? And what if we can't truly be happy without it? We need silence to rest. Rest shouldn't be exclusive to sleep. The modern mind is constantly bombarded with stimulation and we are desperately trying to keep up with all the information we're fed. It's more important now than ever to pause and drink up those moments of quiet solitude when we can. Silence, in fact, relaxes the brain even more than relaxing music we're always told to listen to. In fact, recent studies show that it can rejuvenate our brain cells, which allows us to get into a more creative mindset. Sometimes it's better not to think of anything at all. Just be quiet. And for me personally, out of silence comes the greatest creativity of all times. Silence relaxes me. It soothes me. But it's more than that. Subjecting ourselves to constant noise is a kind of self-neglect. We do need to know how to maneuver through all of the noise of this world, but spending time in constant noise of society can be seen as abuse. We need silence to live with others well. If you think silence is only for the lonely, think again. Finding time to ourselves is extremely important if we're to interact with others. Why? Empathy. We can't fully grasp empathy without taking the time to contemplate the perspectives of others as well as our own motives. Without silence, we are incapable of hearing, loving, and understanding other humans. Silence is a condition for otherness and necessary if we are to understand ourselves and others. Taking time away from people can be a way to become closer to people, 
as it gives us the breathing room to consider our relationships and the parts we play in them. It allows us not to act on impulse, but to really consider how we interact with those we love and like. We need silence to encounter the divine within each of us. There's a reason why many choose to go on vision quests into the desert to find clarity and talk to the divine. Silence, true internal silence, is how we connect with the divine and how we connect with our own authentic selves and the divine within us, allowing us to determine and follow the truths that live within us. The need to connect with the divine is what urges us to love solitude and silence. For silence is where it dwells. There's a difference between exterior silence and interior silence. Interior silence cannot happen without first learning to become comfortable with exterior silence. And while those moments of exterior silence might be rare, they're worth embracing and worth seeking on a regular basis. I've discovered that while experiencing real silence might be strange and unnerving to some, and seemingly even inconvenient at first, if we continue living our lives distracted by noise, we're pushing the divine and possibly the source of our happiness far, far away. Try sitting in silence and see how you feel afterwards. And let us all know by commenting below how it worked out for you. And until next time, be kind to yourself.